but the Indian herbal medicines have been here for thousands of years by observational research. They have stood the test of time and that's the most important thing. Now I'll tell you, most of our drugs, safer drugs came from herbs only. Vedas. In the Rig Veda, there is a thing called Urj, which says, Purnamada, Purnamidam. Water is a whole, hydrogen is a whole. Purnasya, Purnamadaya, Purnamavayveshishtate. That if you take hydrogen from water, water remains. Water, hydrogen becomes hydrogen. What a beautiful thing. What is water? Water is hydrogen and oxygen. I ask students, H2O. No. Water is a fascinating structure, which requires a huge big organization to study that. World's two laboratories only study water. Penn State University's number one material sciences laboratory in the world and Imperial College science, science section studies water. Campbell is the man studying water in London. Rustum is the man studying water in, in Penn State. These are the only two people who study water. Water is fascinating. I'll show you now that I, Peter has given me time. I'll show you something very interesting. Now, this is the part of the thing that what Douglas showed is very interesting because water is water. Now, if I take hydrogen from the water, what will happen, do you know? Oxygen will remain, which is nascent oxygen, which will destroy everything. Otherwise, we could have used water for our engine. But today, Rustum Roy has been able to get atomic hydrogen from water. Atomic hydrogen from water. Can you believe that? This is very interesting. If you took atomic hydrogen from water, water remains water, hydrogen becomes hydrogen, and you can use it. We are running a two-piston engine now on, what, on, on this. Two-piston engine. Now, we will you use for cars and... You simply have to have salt water, pass radio waves, the same waves that Lata Mangeshkar is singing in the radio, same waves you pass, hydrogen at atom comes out and you can burn it and water remains water. And Rustum Roy quotes what? Vedas. In the Rig Veda there is a thing called Urj which says, Purnamada, Purnamidam. Water is a whole, hydrogen is a whole. Purnasya, Purnamadaya, Purnamavayveshishtate. That if you take hydrogen from water, water remains. Water, hydrogen becomes hydrogen. What a beautiful thing. And he quotes that. He puts that first slide. Here is a man who belongs to a Kuleen Brahmin family in Bengal. They are of course in Bangladesh in the olden days. His father was a very great lawyer in Bengal. He migrates to America 67 years ago as a student. And then becomes an American citizen. Gets converted to Christianity but still now reads his Vedas just as his father used to read. And he studies that very, very... There is no dichotomy between religions. Religion is a practice, way of life. But knowledge and wisdom are universal for everything. And he is, he is not only that, he is a Pentecostal preacher. And he has an American wife, two American sons. American sons means his sons who are, who are Americans. <laughs> very interesting. Anyway, now, he studies this thing and puts the Rigvedic uh, verse first for his lecture and then goes on to show how water can be used. Now this is the fascinating part of science. But the Indian herbal medicines have been here for thousands of years by observational research. They have stood the test of time and that's the most important thing. Now I'll tell you, most of our drugs, safer drugs came from herbs only. I'll talk about Peru, 15th century Peru had millions of people dying of malaria. Not hundreds but millions of dying of malaria. So, what is interesting is, you, you have the capacity to keep yourself healthy and well and treat in the unlikely event of an illness, provided you don't poison your body with unnecessary things. Simple foods, which our ancestors ate. I always tell people, if what I am eating is bad for me, my father, my father's father, his father, his father's father, his father, his father, 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 father 50,000 generations ate the same stuff. If that were bad, as we now say, they would have all died, no? We would have been all extinct like the dinosaurs long back. Today somebody comes and says, take Mediterranean food. Mediterranean food is good for Mediterranean weather. For Mediterranean people, not for us. Because Ayurveda says, the weather, the situation, your genetical properties, your environment, all these are important. I have been eating rice for donkey's years and one of my students who has become a diabetes comes and tells me, sir, don't eat rice, it's very bad. You eat only pulses. So I told him, young man, that must be only one limited idea that you read in some book. Rice becomes sugar, sugar becomes triglyceride, triglyceride, something else. No, no, don't worry. If you take only pulses, do you know what happens? Go and read Ayurveda. It says, you can't take more pulses, your kidney gets damaged. Because it's all protein. Atkins diet, everybody says Atkins diet. 
who are adkin himself died a renal failure. So don't you believe all this rubbish that comes in the papers? You don't know who is the best bet for you to be remain healthy? Your granny.